this part here. It even came with instructions. Shelving out, got some nice uh, sidebars, got some glass here. Shelving, this is tempered. Cut this down a little bit, make a solar oven top out of those glass shelving. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the uh, motor in back looks like it's screwed from underneath. So it looks like I'm going to have to take this forward. I'm going to get a board and stick it under there so I don't bend the hinges there. Because I might want it to be using um, these hinges down here. I might want to be using those hinges for your uh, door to cover up at night when it gets cold. So I need to go find a 2 by 4 Okay, 2 by 4 is in place. Hopefully that should take the pressure forward. Yep, that seems to be working. Oh yeah, there's that darn little screw there. They're hanging me up. Get that out of there. Let's see what else we gotta do. Okay, I took a break for lunch and it's almost done down here. It's probably around six o'clock. But I got the uh, pressure uh, line crimped and cut. I squeezed it with uh, pliers and uh, cut it off there. And I got these lines cut. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, Getting rid of this thing. Getting it out of there. Got the two lines cut down here. These are cut off. Now I can lift this back up and go back inside and lift that. Uh, the, I think it's a condenser unit out of there. But I say we got everything out of there in one day at least. And uh, so now tomorrow morning uh, I can start. Uh, Sawzalling, take the sawzall to that midsection and get that out of there. Okay, not bad work. Well, um, I got the, the refrigerator down okay, but now as a single woman, I have a hard time getting it back up. So I'm going to try to shove this little card under there. Good water, bad water, overflow, Freon. Oh, doesn't smell like Freon. I'll hang on to this and find out about it. See if I can use that time. Put a little cart down. And. yank the back out of it. If you remember at the beginning, I was trying to get this up. Yeah, um, even with the back pulled out, I still can't get it out. So it looks like it's crimping to me. Okay, 
I got the one little wire out. Not the big one. Voila! This, I don't hear any gas escaping. I don't smell anything. Um, this looks like the uh, fluid for solar water heating. You know, they think make the panels of it, but it's aluminum. And I know from a little bit of welding I've done, you don't want to do aluminum. This one little tool has let me take them all out. I haven't had to change it all. Here we are. It is stripped. strip from top to bottom, bottom to top. Now the only thing I've got to do is tomorrow take out this midsection with my sawzall and uh, leave in this raised portion right here because the hot end of my uh, solar heater will be resting on that to raise it up. Super! Okay. Well, Thanks for uh, being here today, watching it so far, how to strip the refrigerator down to get it ready for the solar heater. And uh, besides dirty hands and a little bit of sweat, it really wasn't that hard. And I'm not a mechanical person. So tomorrow's the fun part, the sawzall. Hope to see you there. <laughs>